Lorna spoke of a vision that had come upon her as she lay in the moss, gasping out her last. In her vision, the plagues had returned. Pan, young and old, wailed and keened and spat their last blood on the Asia's pristine sand. Why did Let's you have a look me? over here really quickly. I can't afford anything, but this is what the... Um... Yeah, so Firestorm. So that's a very cool, very cool along, effect. Traveler. But that's what we're dealing with over there. All right, so welcome back, everybody, to Remnant 2. Um, today, I want to obviously get a little bit further into... Yeah, you're definitely one of the pan. I always thought that. Okay, so you have to be one of the pan, I think. Um, so I want to obviously get more into Yesha. I want to kind of progress the main story forward. Um, but first, why don't you let me know something I missed? So first and foremost, we're going to head back to somewhere I've been before. So I'll see you... I'll see you when I get to the other side. And we finally made it. I'm going to touch this. Now, supposedly, I missed a pressure plate. Somewhere in this last room. Oh! Whoa! I think I found it. Okay. Oh, oh, God. Okay. You can make it. Which I... I don't get turned around. I did do. Oh god. Okay, this is a whole new thing. Okay. What the hell are these? All right. So, uh, I guess we'll roll through here and have a bit of a look. See. Oh yeah. Hardy and min Minions. Oh, right. Got it. There we go. Give me one of those. Okay, we don't have a lot of room in here. Okay, buddy, you got this? Good. Give you a hand. This? Okay. Okay. Vampire blade? Okay. Um, I don't really know what the rhyme or reason is. There's a chest in here. So that's where we're going. Oh! You really tried to kill me! Why? Oh, hi. The Krell Axe. What is that? Infused with Krell Shock Magic, can be thrown if the wielder has stamina. Axe will magically reappear. What? Hang on, let's try this. Oh, that's cool. It does burn stamina, which is a little bit of a bummer. But that is really cool. Wait a second. What is that? What is that? I see you. It's gonna swing. I don't know what's on the other side, but I'm fighting back. Get back, wall demon. Oh, and then we're back out. Well, that was cool. Thank you so much for the tip. I would have completely missed that. I don't know how I didn't just walk onto it. This thing is still here. Get out of here. There we go. We got it. There we go. We defeated the wall demon. I'm now going to touch this and we're getting out of here. Well, that was very cool. And what a cool weapon. Like it's throwable and it comes back to your hand. That's over. How cool is that? All right. Well, I'm now going to begin the long trek back to the opposite direction because basically we explored all down here and I haven't checked out this section over here. So, I'm going to go and hopefully get back over there with little to no effort. Okay, we're back over this side now, so I guess I'm going to head around this way. I don't know, what the fuck is this? What is that? Alright. Let's get it. No. 
No! Okay, come in. You got nothing. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is what did that to me last time. Thanks, buddy. Buddy had my back on that. I was doing okay, and then I just really wasn't. Oh, this is a different area. I thought I was going back over this way. Alright, well, we're here now. No room for that. Well, I'm gonna head over this way. Oh, it's you. Alright, Elk. You, you, you chill. I've decided they're Elk based on the antlers. They don't look very deer-like. Look a lot more, um, Elky. If that makes any sense. Oh, no! I- You just died! Did we all see it just ran off the side? <laughs> okay, so this is the main dungeon. Alright, great. We found you. Now I'm gonna head back that other way, and I'm gonna see if I can get in there. I might not be able to, because there was a door there. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go in this way. We're gonna go do this main dungeon. Because I remember there being a doorway, um, back in that opposite direction that I thought I was going initially, and so, historically, I've not been able to open those. Um, I will go back and verify that. But first, let's get this done. We are here, and it's a long trek back. The Expanding Glade. Okay. And we are power level 14. Okay. We're close enough. Wow. Look at it. Okay, if I wasn't thinking Avatar already... The Floating Mountains, anyone? Oh, the music! Oh, sorry, I just I just had to just had to stop there for a second. The music, the view, it was gorgeous, and what the fuck is that? What in the Never Cthulhu? Seen like this before. Huh? What are these? Excuse me. What is this? Is that an attack? Okay, get out of here. What is this? I haven't seen anything like whatever these things are. There we go. Shit, shit, shit! What are we freaking out about? I don't get it. This. Don't. No! Why? There's a whole group up there. I like that. Oh, there's a purple thing up there too. Well, I'm gonna go get that. Bear with me. You will not keep me from my... Loot! What? What are these? These seem special. They glow blue. I, I can't tell what is an enemy. Okay. Get rid of that. Oh! Excuse me! Oh, God, no! Ow, that did so much hurt. That hurt, that hurt, that hurt. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Just heal. Okay, what is that? What in the Dungeons and Dragons? Okay, give me, give me, give me a moment. Eat that. I can do my own magic. Cool. Excellent. Okay, where's that purple thing? It was up here. Look how... I'm going to say this a few times, but like out of that like disgusting, dreary place. Look at this. Look at this. Ain't that something? I only wish I could climb up to some of those places. So cool. Right? I'm not the only one. Come on, this is so cool. Oh god, that's not. No, 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 no. No. Okay, back up. Here I am, like just having a great time and Oh god! Okay, listen. Back away from my dog. No. No. Oh, for fuck's sake. What is this? Where'd it go? Okay, so these must be the Lima, the Lamir, whatever it is. Whatever those things are. Can, I get these? Can we? Okay. Thanks, buddy. Why? Whoa! Shit! So these ones can teleport. That's your gimmick. These ones can't. F felt like something was coming in behind me just then. 
Stay away from my dog. Oh, yep. Okay, cool. I'm hitting the wall and not much else. God damn it. Okay, so we got this thing. And then it continues over there. Okay, we're good. well, first we're going to go up to this tower. That just feels logical. I'm so on edge. Like, I love this place. It's so beautiful. But also, I don't trust none of it. Uh-oh. Ooh, no, no, no. No, no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm gonna die. Help. 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 Okay, we made it. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. I thought that was my death. This is so nice. If it wasn't for all the murder tentacles, I'd be really having a great time. This feels like a trap. I'm going to do it, but I just want everyone to know I called this was a trap. Okay? Oh. It's not a trap. There is another route around the side. I am just going to do that for posterity. Make sure I don't miss anything. Is that a bell tower? Well, you know what that means. I'm going to try and ring the bell. I don't think I made it. Try it again. Hello. I would like to ring the bell. There's got to be a way to ring that bell. Hang on. Curiosity has got the better... What is this? This looks like this should open. Oh! Oh! All right, a Luceri wall. What's this? Oh, I have no idea. Wait, I've seen these symbols before. <gasps> what is this shit? Oh, how am I meant to know how to open this? What is this? That's death. Okay. Um, what am I looking at over here? No. I don't see a book. I don't see nothing on how to do this. Okay, hang on. Okay, so this is hiding underneath this tower. Maybe there's something I need to look at in the tower. Anything significant in this chamber? What is that? Can I hit you? Can we do something? No. This lever, I'm assuming, is just to bring this back up. Got it. Okay. So, what? Oh, we're, we're going back down. There's got to be something with this. There's got to be something with this, right? I've been here for a minute. There's only one thing I can think of. Oh! Oh, circle! Uh, key! Uh, something! They're gonna be all visible in the windows, aren't they? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so we have got... Okay, the circle's right. Something with a... Something... Okay. Circle, two lines, it looks like they're wearing headphones, and then something that looks like a bit like a space invader, and then something that looks like a key. Okay, so the circle's fine. Earphones, space invader, and 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 some sort of keyblade. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Don't don't get me started on Kingdom Hearts. I will be here all day. Uh Space Invader. Which one's the keyblade then? Comes to a point. Which looks like that. Maybe it's this one. There we go. I did it! Hell yeah! Ooh. Oh, I love the music in this game. I like that. Blooming Heart. I haven't switched from this basic one. I should do that. Unused heals for 35% of max health over 5 seconds. Spawns 3 healing orbs which grant 35% of casters max health over 5 seconds. Orbs last up to 20 seconds. Recasting removes previous orbs. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna stay with the standard heal for now. This is so cool. Oh, I'm so glad I came back and had a look because I'm like, I was wondering if maybe something happened with the bell. I guess not. But then there was this, and this was so worth it. All right, now we can. Now I can continue forward because I felt like that was too easy. All right, what else is waiting for me in here? Okay, oh, we've made it to the checkpoint. Oh, look at look at this. Just imagine what this place was like when everything was not like this. Oh, it would have been so impressive. Oh, that's just a straight. We're in for something. I'm going to heal here. Because we are in for some absolute tomfoolery. All right, let's go. Also, I feel bad. Who was Tom and why is it now tomfoolery? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, okay. It's not just going to be one, is it? Or is it just one? Oh! 
Oh, I hate that. I didn't like that. Oh, I missed. My footwork is good. I've got the footwork. Oh, the music is insane. Hi. Oh, God. I didn't expect you to do that. Oh, God. I thought I dodged that. All right. Where are you? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. This thing's a bit much. Okay. Oh, God. There's all dead people around here. What is this? I don't know, but I don't want them to hatch. Oh, I was right. Okay, okay. They're not too bad. It's just those things. Okay, stop that shit. There we go. We can do this. Oh, God. Yep, here we go. It's going to start doing some shit. I hate this shit. They're vortexes. Does anyone remember a vortex? That's what they're like. Okay, we see it. Give me this. Okay, come on. Stop moving. Oh, the footwork upgrade was good. Take that. Come on, that was... Oh, that wasn't him. Oh, God. I can't just backstep. Come on. There we go. Headshot. Good night. I got the soul sliver. Okay. God damn it! Hmm. Alright, well, Thanks we've re-topped up on everything. I don't think there's anything else for me to see. Okay, we made it. We're doing yeah. on the scrap front. Oh, I've got a ton of scrap now. I can afford some upgrades, which I would really like to do to feel a little bit more comfortable. So we've made it forward. That was insane, that fight. That was so cool. A little bit different than just Big Monster, you know? Not just big monster. Go, ooh, you know? <laughs> oh, now we're back out of this nightmare fuel. Can I go back? That place, while it was terrifying for different reasons, was actually nice. Ooh, the tree. We must commune with Awa. <laughs> okay, I think we can actually talk to the tree. It's registering as a... Oh, this is where I had to go. And that's the shortcut. I wouldn't have been able to go that way. Look, I made the right call. I am so intelligent. All right, before I engage this thing, I think I'm going to head back to Ward 13, gear up on a few things. So, unless I do something absolutely buck wild, I will see you when we're back here and we're going to go talk to a tree. My outfit doesn't look very cohesive. That's going to bug me. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I at least can get behind this. This at least looks a little bit more cohesive. I don't know. I need to think about what armor I want to go for. I've been wearing the same getup for ages. Um, anyway, we're going to go talk to the tree. Or well, maybe it's not a tree. Maybe it's something in the tree. First, I'm going to open up this door. I want to do that first. Um, but yeah, I didn't upgrade too much. I only upgraded the bow once and my um, and my pistol once as well. Hello. Oh, what the fuck? What summons me from my ethereal wanderings? I'm a dude in a baseball cap. Muzar. Muzar. What kind of beast is this? The confused kind. The human kind, or maybe Paxel Tech. Paxel Tech. I can share my wanderings with you. But first, I seek the knowing, the truth of nature held within your ark. What? You want to answer? So I will ask. Huh? Answer these questions true, sweet beast, so that your ark may be known and your eye may open. Answer truthful, okay. And do choose wisely. Answer from your heart. Oh, I'm so concerned. I have to choose wisely. I'll try this out. You sure. You are an innkeeper. One of your loyal patrons proclaims he is to be imprisoned two days hence for a crime of which he is innocent. 
In his final days of freedom, he plans to poison those who have wrongly accused him. Uh... You know he speaks true, but you can stop him. A simple slip of Kyber Sea powder into his next drink, and he will be bedridden, but otherwise unharmed, for days. Do you poison him? Or do you turn a blind eye to his plots of revenge? Okay, alright. Um, In my mind, I wish there was a, another option, which would be I'd help to gather evidence of his, uh, his wrongful accusation. But, in my mind, how I would answer, I wouldn't want my friend, my loyal patron, whoever it is, to basically stoop to the same level, possibly becoming worse than those who have wrongfully accused him. Um... I'd, I'd, I'd stop him, honestly. I'd stop him. Consider that it is you who discovers the Thane, the tree that offers immortality to all who eat its fruit. You could share this gift with all, but doing so may lead to war and embitterment, to the immortality of those who do not deserve it and will only abuse eternal life. Or you could limit immortality to the deserving and thus, oh. through the deserving, bring a better life for all. Do you give immortality to all, or only a chosen few? Who am I to be judge, jury, and executioner, right? Like, that's the thing for me. Like, uh, I like to think that I'm a fairly open person, right? But obviously, we all have our own biases and things that would, you know, we would consider or, or be like unknowingly kind of you know not giving things to people so i don't think i think i gotta go with I, I i can't trust like i'd like to think i'd be completely in control and i'd be super fair and i'd only give it to deserving people but like where do you draw the line like what if you give it to some of your family even though technically they would also be people that would abuse like immortality right family friends people you think you know like who knows how people are going to change with immortality now being a thing right so even though you give it to people that you think are deserving you don't know how they're going to change in 100 200 300 years what are they going to be like are they still going to be what made them deserving in the first place or are they going to become something else entirely because now time is no longer something they are concerned about i don't know I i'm going to say all should share in the gift i see your wheels turning sweet beast all should share. A runaway cart races down the track towards the Oh, this miners. one. You and a stranger are on a footbridge above, witnessing this. The stranger, who happens to be very large, leans over the rail to get a better look. You could save the lives of the five miners by shoving him onto the track below, stopping oh my the car this bulk. Do you push the stranger? Or risk the death of the five miners? I, that's, as much as, oh, these questions. Okay, we're deep diving into morality at this point. Um, okay. So, on paper, right, the calculus of war. Few die, so many live, right? Like, that's the idea, right? Like, you sometimes in war, you make decisions that mean you know people are going to die, but their deaths are minuscule in air quotes compared to the number of people that will die if those people don't die. I hope that makes sense. Right, so on, from cold calculus, cold, cold calculus, the obvious choice is to push the stranger, do what needs to be done, and definitely save the five miners. Right, cold calculus. But as a moral person, I'm now a murderer. <laughs> And especially because they're all strangers to me, right? Like, I don't want to, like, just kill some random or anything. Like, if you put my family down there, I don't know, that this would be a much harder choice. But for me, I'm going to say I'm going to risk the death, and I'm going to basically... But is that kind of like, you keep your own hands clean for your conscious type thing, when you could have done something to do... Fuck, I don't know. Nah, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. I'm not that cold. I don't now know. let me think. Oh, yes. He that slew your sibling and escaped justice is incapacitated before you. You could slay him then and there in cold blood. Do you oh take God. your vengeance? Or turn the scum over to the authorities from whom he already escaped? 
Oh, now you're getting personal. Now you're getting personal. Oh. What am I revealing about myself in this? <laughs> Do I be Batman? Right? Do I be Batman, who doesn't kill anyone and sends them back to the authorities knowing they're just going to escape later and he's going to do this whole dance again? Or do I go like... I don't know. The, the Punisher's a different one. But you get the idea. The character that's like, nah, I'm going to stop the problem. They don't come back. Especially because it's my sibling. I'd turn it's him in again. every day a question determines the course of your destiny. Or is it... What are you? you and your youngest kin often oh my god, how many questions? But the younger has never felled a mark. One day, a magnificent beast appears, and they cannot tell who shot struck true. You know that their shot flew into the bushes while yours found the beast's heart. But out of pity, you tell them that they struck the killing blow. Okay, so we were nice. Upon your return to town, your kin proudly claims the kill and is offered a job by the town butcher. Do you allow the butcher and your kin to believe your deception? Or do you admit the truth? This would be entirely... No, I don't think I would, right? If I've consciously... This now gets into myself. If I have consciously decided that I'm going to bend the truth, right? For the betterment of someone. I will not be the person to reveal it. Regardless of what that is, right? I'm not really much of a liar anyway, like, I'm, I'm just very rare, I'm generally a brutally honest person. But if I'm putting myself in this position, I've said this, I've said this to make them feel better, and I... This is happening, realistically I'd make this choice based on how they're acting, like, if they're being super arrogant about it, and being super like, oh, I'm the best, I'm the greatest, you know, I can do anything about it, when they already know they kind of suck, right? They already know they kind of suck about it. They, they suck at shooting, right? They already know that, and somehow they killed this beast with a perfect shot to the heart. Then I'd be a bit whatever. But if they're a little more humble, like, wow, this is so amazing, I can't believe I did it, or whatever, maybe this is the jump that gets them to kind of move forward in life. I'm going to say, I'll, I'll let it, I'll allow it go. You have chosen your path, sweet beast. Your heart is true. May the power of the doe's eye free you from your incarnate shackles. Uh, my heart is true. New trait, bark skin. What the hell? Tell me more about this eye. I got it. No need for more details. In the arc of every being, there are two eyes. We may see out of either, but most favor one over the other. Mm. The Ravager's eye is dynamic, driven, and endlessly hungry. Yet for all its power, its vision is clear. In the other side, the eye of the ravager rarely sees beyond its own satiation. Right, like whereas the doe is more tail, knowledgeable but lacks no all the rest. power. Maybe. The doe's eye sees only what is before it. The gift of the doe is subtle, easily missed. It is a most mysterious presence inside oneself, conferring power without force. Just as the doe itself cannot be sought, nor tracked, nor hunted. Right. By answering true, sweet beast, you give me a wink. And now, the gifts of your dominant eye will be open to you. Before we go any further, I must ask. I sense you carrying something. Something that belonged to my sister. Your sister? <gasps> that ring. Why do you have it? I found it in an old temple. It is my sister's ring. This can only mean one thing. You killed her. I'm sorry, I didn't know. That monster tried to kill me first. Oh! Uh, is this Ka Kaula? Kula? Beula? <laughs> oh god. Uh... I just, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, know. Mortal misunderstands. What you destroyed was not my sister, not as I knew her. The root had consumed her. Aww. She suffered in that form. You have freed her on oh, yay. behalf of all of my sisters. Thank you. 
keep her ring and treasure it with our gratitude. This ring belongs to you. Truly? I'll give it up. Thank I wasn't going to use it anyway. Beast. You will be forever honored among us. However, I cannot let you go empty handed. You should have this. Okay. Now. New handgun. What can I do for you? Oh my god, I have so many questions. Who are you? You stand before Mirdra, spirit of the natural world, daughter of stem and stream. My sisters and I are the glorious weavers of all wild beauty. Uh -huh. When mountain, spring, and sturdy tree trunk take your breath, sweet beast, that is us. That is our blessing. I'm so glad we became friends. This has been just a lovely distraction. It was nice to meet you. <gasps> that was the most interesting conversation I think I've had. So these are like godlings, they look after nature. And Kayula was one of them, and that's what we killed. Um, and, but we set her free, so no, no hard feelings. And then the moral questions to understand it. Apparently we have the eye of the doe. Hang on, I need to look at some things. Uh, first, I got a new handgun, Sorrow. What is it? Oh, it's a crossbow, and it glows. This is cool, and it lights up. The moral questions, the history. Oh, finally we're getting answers. So not as much written down, but we find out more by talking to people. Okay. There we go. All right, we're just going to take care of business. Oh my God, I love this. So they were kind of fearful of mortals but Kayula loved mortals and wanted to talk with them and learn about them and learn their stories since she sounds so sweet and then yeah got absolutely messed up by the root that corrupted her and took her over which is so sad I don't remember what Kayula's ring did but I don't think I was really planning to use it for anything so I'm kind of glad we gave it back you know we got this cool gun Oh, the music. Sometimes I gotta just stop, you know? Sometimes I gotta just stop. Because the music is gorgeous. This is so interesting, though. Like, I guess they mummified, like, the Egyptians, kind of? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. There we go. So we got two to deal with. Okay, roll away. I gotta watch out for that because they throw out these traps. Why am I glitching? Whoa! Okay. Let's get this going. Okay. I see it. Okay, so when I'm glitching, it means it has my number, kind of? Where did that shot go? Get out of here. What is that? Get rid of that. What are you doing? Okay, roll away, roll away, roll away. That's fine. Okay, hang on. Oh, why'd I do that again? Okay, buddy, help me out. Get here, there we go. There we go, headshots, beautiful. That's one down. Okay, the trap is out, which is good. So I don't have to really worry. Okay, buddy kind of got messed up my shot. That's okay. Oh, that's what was happening. It pulls you in. Okay, I'm missing so many shots here. Hang on. No! Oh, god damn it. Can we hurry up? 
Why is this hell happening at once? I don't have my abilities up. Buddy heal. Okay, roll away, roll away. We nearly got him down. There we go, buddy. Watch out for yourself, okay? You're not good. You're in a lot of pain. No, buddy. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. Good boy. Come here. Why do I still hear noises? Come here. Good boy. You're a good boy. Okay. Oh, look, we got some paintings. So all of them are coming to this thing. I don't really understand. There's a lot of things moving around outside. Okay, so this is the, the ring that we found. Ah, uh, is this the way we were meant to go? Uh, oh, God, they ran into me, you bitch! No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Leave them alone. I, I can't, I can't stop myself. I just love this game. And I love games like it. Just the amount of lore that's here, the amount of interesting places to see, the things to piece together. I just love games like this. And it doesn't even have to be like a, um, like something like this where you jump to multiple worlds. Just a, even if it's just one place, you're just in one location, but it just has such deep history and lore and things you can piece together. I just love that stuff. I think it's such an underrated or underutilized sort of method, especially with like big AAA games and stuff, like everything's spoon-fed to you. I think it's why I love like the, um, the Souls games so much. It's just one of the cool things about video games is that you can actually explore, you can find out things. So filling the world with its history and everything else takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of energy, but it's one of the unique things you can only really do with a video game, an idea that you can find out information and just by exploring like in a movie or something like that, like the story is set, you're going to experience whatever the director has decided is going to be on screen, you know? Whereas this, it's like, yeah, the, you're going to see whatever the director has planned for the main story, but in terms of how invested you are in the rest of the worlds, that's up to you. If two people who have played this game talk, what they know about Yeisha, for example, might be way more than the other person. But then that person may know way more about Nehrud or something, you know? I just, I love that. All right, here we go. What is that? Is that another one of our godlings? Okay. Hello. Friend. Friend. Uh, blade and spear, hill and stone. Two arms, they come. Who comes? Uh, I... A terrible wonder, even for one who has seen many wonders. Okay. It's kind walk Yesha foreigner. Then surely the wheel of the world is set to turn again. The wheel of the Perhaps. world? Perhaps it will be. Our buddy's not happy. Are you in pain? Hey. No. Outweighs peace in the measure of my days. God murderer. Oh, how did you get stuck like this? Days, we fought them on these steps. Okay. The soldiers fell first. Then the officers. Then they called upon the priests. We knew the children would be next. And so we flung. Oh, we did it to save people. Reach. Some were torn apart like green shoots in a glutton's teeth. Others were swallowed whole and vanished from the sphere. They're taken I somewhere stuck. else. Anguished cork in a malai bottle. Uh oh, it your voice is getting weird. Around me. It waits to this. Gorge its grotesqueries once more upon Yesha's scalded skin. Are you skin. holding it back? Three spots of them. Wanderer, it will do right. Put its edge to this cursed snarl. Vent its rage on it. Isn't there another way? We lay there are no strangers to the last voyage. Destroy the knot. Oh, God, okay. 
I'm gonna try shooting it. Okay, we're in for it now. I'm gonna try not to shoot him. Okay, we are come. They're coming in from. Okay, just this side. Okay, we can deal with that. Okay, we gotta just deal with this. I'm trying not to shoot him. I'm hoping that works. We're just gonna keep shooting. Oh god! Oh, it's me! Did we save him? Okay, that's dead. Oh god, there's so much- HOLY SHIT! Okay, 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 buddy. Buddy to me. Buddy to me. Okay, so that's me. Oh god, I've nearly got root rot. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, which one's my heal? This thing? Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Shit. Oh god! Beat it off! Oh god, there's stuff everywhere. You! You suck. There we go, we got rid of him. Oh god, is that another clone? What is going on? What is doing that? Okay, we can dodge around that. Okay, just heal again. This is insane. I hate this. Oh god. Okay. Okay, this thing is dodging everything. I need to heal. I need to reload, I mean. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have enough. Get out of here, dude! Okay, I need to take out this thing. Get over here. Okay. Okay. Wait. There's many of them. I completely whiffed that shot. Oh, God. Okay, get out of here. Wait, you're not dead? Shit. Oh god, I'm getting wailed on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. 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 Oh, that was so intense. Wait, he's free! I didn't kill him! I made the right choice! He's free! Hello! You're okay! You alright? I made the right choice. I made sure not to shoot him ever. No, you're out, man. I have not tasted air unmixed with the foul humors of the tango. In an age's age, nor did I dream that I ever might again, much less feel the soft touch. Oh, I'm so glad I made that call not to, to shoot around him. Or the kiss of the I'm so happy. My free fur, faithless. Faithless have I been, and yet Axaltec came with war in its right hand and temperance in its left. The Paxaltec came. Oh, I'm so happy! I am saved, two-handed warrior. It has my allegiance, whatever may come. Oh, I'm so happy. Axaltec have a gift for death. This much is true, but they are not all destroyers. Perhaps if it fights with us, perhaps the root may yet be crushed on I'll fight with you, don't worry. Take this. Though it be a relic of Willamer, stewards of death. Wield it in defense of life. I will. What will you do now? I think I shall linger here a while yet. 
Many are those who fell on these blood-soaked steps. No, some are now not but bones. They each deserve the funerary rites of royalty. Oh, these beautiful. I shall endeavor to complete with whatever time is left to me. If its road right. should ever wind this way again, grace me with a visit. There are yet tales of Yesha I might tell it. If it cares to hear them. Oh, okay, you already know. We're going for it. I wouldn't mind. Contrary. <laughs> it has been ages since oh, I'm so glad we saved him. So very much alive. Ah, uh, let us first be properly introduced. Uh, yes. Once I was called Lick. Lick. Foremost of nice the to meet you, dude. Hmm? Uh, I priest of the dead. How oh, I gloried in that title. Would that I had known the irony. What exactly the is a lamia? Priest of the deathless. The ah, high okay, we're getting answers. One who wraps the powerful in glory, and the Muslim who seals the secrets of the eternal Empress with sweet seed oil and with night sap. We guarded the flesh of the great and sought their resurrection among these trusted sacred man. I was the utmost. Uh, I relish the favor of her permanence. Of her permanence? More fool I for this? many epochs. The this Empress of did not whatever. fear the flow of time, for the fruit of the same tree kept it at bay. But okay. There are other ways to die. The Eternal Empress. This adventure. <sighs> the Eternal Empress dreamed of defeating this final terminus. Okay. If life could be taken, could it not be given back? The flesh was preserved against that question's answer. Right. This was the province of the Lamir. But let us start at the beginning. Hmm? Much would I have it known, and to know all. Oh, I love this! Finally, this answers first. around Yasha. Would it hear the history of the pan? Yes, anything to help me understand this place. I have so many things I want to talk in about, but let's go. Time before time, the pan lived in the place that was. It is said that there came a great plague that ravaged the land so that the fields were seeded only with the bones of the dead and yielded only the cries of the bereft with his flock drowning in woe the leader of the pan held forth a great decree one hundred ships were built to hold ten thousand souls like with a god of many faces cutting the waves before them, the pan that were the way that's capitalized. ventured across the Vilkmarza, the dark sea, through the long night. The pan that were the vaunts okay. prayed and the red widows wept, for no one knew if the dark sea had a far shore. But on the hundred first day. As the Red Widow in the foremost ship bowed her horns to the god of many faces, a bird lit between them, singing, Glory to the Pan, for they have reached the King Mother. Yes, arose like the dawn before them, unseen. Untamed. Oh, and there's free. so much to learn. Okay. The king who was who was the leader known to the pan as Kolket the War handed. Later, Kolket the War begun, and at last, as Kolket the Wise, quick of blade was he in his youth, a fearsome general who watered the tree of progress with the lifeblood of many enemies. But the exploits of youth brought Kolkett no peace in age. They say he took the plague as fate's judgment against his 
warlike eye. So he saw it as his fault. The choice. Flee the land of his fathers, or end his line as the king of death. Kokel hesitated no more in pilgrimage than he had in war. He raised up ships as once he had raised regiments. He sailed from the place that was with a heart full of hope. He was never to see Asia's shores. He passed in peace before the crossing's end, greeting death <sighs> with grace. Cutting the way of this god, okay. Many faces have been with the pan since the place that was. The place that long, was. All the capitalization in that. The way they're speaking about it. Guardianship. It was a god as real as the soil beneath us. A god one could visit. A god one could touch. Its ways were not known. But all agreed. It loved us and ever would. More would I have it here of uh. this. For this tendril twines with its own. <sighs> well, tendril twines with its own. Okay. To hand it one. I have to remember. Maybe Each I have to come back here and he'll tell me time. more. What is in a red those widow? days, there was no empress. There were no queens. Kolket the wise passed on the dark sea, and left no heir. It was only agreed that. The clergy should step in where Kolkat had stood. The Vaughns spoke for the many-faced one. And the Red Widows spoke for the sun. Oh, stone, the, the, the sky, mothers of the of the godlings that we spoke to. Us. No. They linked hands to cradle the destiny of the pan. For eighty days. The Vaughns fell prostrate upon Yesha's unfamiliar shore. Mm. They prayed for a sign that our searching was over, and that this forest should be ours. On the 80th day, two forms emerged from the depths of the jungle. The doe First the ravager. came a doe with coat of red where it walked. The soil gave forth flowers and sweet berries, and they took it as a sign of grace. But behind the doe came another, a wolf with fur as lightless as the obsidian waves the pan had so lately crossed. Surely, this great beast was a portent of death. Yet. Desperate were these threadbare priests of old, and of these visions to their charges, these vaunts spoke only one. They spoke of the dough? And why not? The dough fills all who glimpse it with a spirit of hope and a sense of growth. It leaps among the shrub and bramble even now, even with the Asia sounder by the root. There are those who think it more than a spirit, a god in waiting. These call themselves the children of the Red Doe. Okay. The carpenter's daughter was one such. Uh. May her faith be rewarded. May her spirit roam the forest alongside the Doe forever free. Those who glimpse the Doe often glimpse the wolf. For the latter seems compelled to pursue the former. Right. Yeah, yeah. To hear those early vaunts tell it would be to hear of many different wolves in pursuit. Different and only wolves. one, though. A simple deception, but a far reaching one. Mother and know the truth. What must it be to spend an eternity chasing that which one might catch but may not kill? For the mm. wolf and the doe have often met and clur and tooth, hoof and claw. <laughs> the doe may spill the wolf's blood and the wolf may taste the doe's flesh, but never the other's life to take. Yesha itself forbids it. They say the chase has driven the wolf quite mad. With the assurance of the Vaughns, the Pan took to Yesha and she to us. 
and for a time, there was stillness. Men were born who had never known the land that was, nor the endless sea at their backs. One such was called Genus. She was but 15 springs when she felt the calling of the Red Widows, and not three more when she felt the touch of sickness. <sighs> As Genus approached the door of death, she sought her sisters, for there were no Lamer yet, and it was the Red Widows who ushered the pan into the soil. But Genus's malady was known to the Widow Mother, to her, to the Elder Pan. It seemed the plague had found them again, oh, even on this distant shore. Genus was shunned cast out into the oh, jungle and so her sad. name was forbidden from pan lips none among them could have foreseen what would come next what plague ridden and scorned the red widow genus had been cast into the jungle to be forgotten but fate had other plans after many days in the jungle genus emerged the Pan were humbled, for all signs of plague had been lifted from the young genus, replaced by a regal gait none could deny. Fascinated, all assembled to hear her tale. <laughs> and quite a tale it was. Genus spoke of a vision that had come upon her as she lay in the moss, gasping out her last. In her vision, the plagues had returned. Pan, young and old, wailed and keened and spat their last blood on the Asia's pristine sand. But then, okay. when all seemed lost, a great tree rose out of the jungle, strange and wonderful and heavy with luminous fruit, this tree. Okay. The Thane, she named it, gave all who ate of it a life oh, Those metaphorical things the were not... The Pan embraced it, and their glory stretched on... Those things we spoke about epochs, with our friend back in the tree... To power on this, ...were not so the metaphorical. The built of words by spreading her message of doom and salvation. <laughs> The Red Widows were easy converts, inclined to believe their sister, and eager to spread her vision to all the Pan. In time, they held more sway than even the Vaughns. <laughs> it was a great shift. It would not be the last. Among the Red Widows' genus was quickly elevated to Widow Mother. The crops flourished, and the villages spread. The jungle receded from the shore. Okay. Is she it really is sick? Difficult to say. Genus has had charge of her own legend for an age of ages. Suffice to say, there is enough truth to her vision for me to know her personally. Though I was born. 30 some generations mothers from heads. when Genus and was yet, around. In knowing her. I find its question impossible to answer. Uh, but we get ahead of ourselves, two-handed one. Many seasons passed, and Genus grew stooped and lined as all Pan before her had. In her 77th winter, Genus had another vision. The Thane called to her. And she told her people it was time to seek it out. For the calamity was imminent. So the thing's the big tree. hundred pan were assembled to undertake the expedition. Genus herself, a contingent of red widows, a party from each of the villages. Many imagined they would never see their queen again. Those that lived long enough came to know the taste of those words. When Genus, now as young and beautiful as the day she first beat death, 
emerged from the jungle once what more. What happened to the rest? With 49 immortals at her back. 49. She had been reborn as Oh my god, so much. Time. As an empress eternal. What happened to the 500? That's my first For question. For years, they searched the forest, battling hunger, storms, and beasts red of tooth and claw. Twenty. The winters passed. Many succumbed to death or to doubt by the 21st spring. Only five red widows and 44 common pans stood at Genus' side. It was they whom she led into the clearing. It was they who beheld the thane. So the rest had come to the elements. They who tasted the fruit and felt time's weight fall from their shoulders. No plague has touched no the No plague has since touched Pansy, the Pansins. calamity wears faces nearly as numerous the God as of many God faces. of old. Eternal. Unless so I she's still on the mistaken, throne? The Empress lives yet, for no funerary smoke has filled oh, the God. sky above her ziggurat. <laughs> If the pan vanish from Yesha's soil, I imagine she will be the last to depart. With death thus leashed, the eternal genus and her immortals brought forth an empire heretofore unknown. Great ziggurats were wow. hewn from the living rock, and at their feet grew great cities lit by arcane magics. Genus' prophecies all came about. Save one. <sighs> if only the pan of that epoch had wondered as it does to hand it one. Uh, talking one to me because I asked so many questions. But not worried. Save a few volts. Yeah, the what happened to this calamity? Dying and the Empress was not. No achievement seemed beyond the reach of the pan. It was then that the wolf came. Only those last of those immortals ate the fruit, no ah, one else. But the story of Yesha is the story of who tastes the fruit of the Thane tree. Really? 49 immortals begat many more. Yeah, so that's aristocracy. aristocracy. So this is where that question comes in. Favor with the Empress, traded years of life itself like fishmongers at market. So there became a divide between those who were immortal and those who weren't. Oh, this is so interesting. The, the Ravager, the very obsidian beast the Vaughns of old had glimpsed and hidden. It right. sprang from the jungle as sudden as a squall. It made no more than mutton of the bravest warrior. No standing up Fear against it. fell like night across the empire. Death roamed the Asia. Ravenous death none could tame. There were those who would have seen the beast slain, but the Ravager was never much glimpsed that the Red Doe should not follow. And vice versa, the right. green things of the jungle sprang from the Red Doe's feet. But on what do green things grow if not right, the we've flesh heard that of departed before. life? Who knew what would become of the Doe if the Ravager were felled? Who knew what would become of the jungle? And thus the balance. Who knew what would become of the Thane tree? It was the twice humbled vaunts who kept the empire from vanishing down the ravager's throat. For the vaunts had pondered the beast since it first appeared to them on Yesha's shores. Of it they was had. they who had learned to listen to Aphir's song. We've heard about that too. They who learned to appease the ravager the song of Yesha. with tribute, with dance, and with music. Balance returned, and the wheel of time rolled on. Aphir's the song? song of all living things. Yeah. The it song of life. It permeates our forest. It whispers in the leaves, throbs in the soil, shines in the sun, babbles in the stream. The Vaughns devote themselves to this home's mystery. So they play insane. it I love to this. tap its power, as other Pan might use the energy of a crystal. 
or the heat of a flame, right. those attuned in prayer hear it strongest. But all may catch its strain from time to time, even a Paxil deck. Even me? Can I hear it? Is that what's playing now? Oh my god, okay, it was the Ravage of the Calamity from Genesis' Who is to vision. Say? For that was hardly the last calamity to befall the Panathiesha. <sighs> With the Ravager appeased, the Empress dreamed the Eternal of Empress, so that's Genus. She should likely have had her wish. But for one thing, the main tree, tree, that of the fruit uh, of immortality, began to die. Began to die. For many lifetimes, her permanence hid this knowledge from all who served her. Slave and the mortal Oh yeah, alike. it formed slaves, so and people that weren't immortal were slaves. She had amassed a great store of fruit, and surely something could be done to save the tree. Why crack the very bedrock of her society? Keep it hidden. But the tree's decline could not be arrested. Fruit was rationed. Noble lineages withered. We lay there, once prepared for the final death of death, only those immortals who had fallen in battle or by misadventure. Now, we found ourselves winding wizened nobles in sap and muslin by the hundreds. Perhaps what oh. came next was inevitable. Oh, you can't leave me. I've been here for so long, I don't care. What came next? revolt. This was the fire that was to sweep through Yesha's jungle. For a life of lifetimes, the Eternal Empress had hidden the decline of the Thane Tree. But like the Vaughns of old, had underestimated the power of one young, plague-addled Red Widow. Genus herself failed to foresee the power of one called Navoon. Mm -hmm. ah. Navoon was one of her eternity's own guards. How she learned of the rod at the roots of the Thane tree, uh, I cannot maybe say. That's where the started? I know only that she had no taste for the Empress's deceptions. Navoon fled the Ziggurat and spread the news far and wide. Her words found home in the ears of the Gull. Yesha's slave caste. No oh, the gold, that's the so the gold the are the immortal aristocracy. Oh. But what about a nobility in disarray? Oh, One this changes the everything. And powerful would soon fight for scraps of fruit like bare rib dogs. They rose. Oh, so there's so much. Then in a tidal wave, the Empress found herself at war. Perhaps she might have won, if not for the destroyer. We're going to take a little break. There remains much to hear for those that would hear it. Much to learn. Oh, I'll be back. Don't worry. I've just been here for like 15 minutes or something. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going back over here. But we are going to stay here. I'm going to end this episode now because no I already room. know this is going to be long. Purely from that, 15 minutes is going to be just talking to this dude. No more room. But I don't care. Because we found out so much information. So, for example, in Ifea's End, uh, or not Ifea's, in Dyra's End, right? When we were reading the journal about the guy that went into the temple, he said, like, the ghoul have served my family well, or something like that. He must have been an immortal, right? Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh, okay, the story of Yesha is so interesting. We have someone to talk to. I'm so glad we saved him. I didn't shoot him in the head or anything. So we've got that, the Endless Empress, all those carvings or paintings that we saw of people carrying someone to a tree. That must have been the royal funeral rites. Right, and the big tree they're all walking to must be the Thane tree. The, the one that grants immortality. I love this so much, everybody. Like, I absolutely adore this. This world, I think Yesha might be my favorite so far from a lore perspective, like just the history and everything. But we are going to end it here. This has been an extra long one. So for anyone that's still here after that very long explanation of the world, um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below because I always appreciate them. And subscribe if you're new. But that is going to be all for today. So bye for now.